Hey guys, it's Melissa, and if you want to see what's for dinner, meet me in the kitchen. Hey guys, I'm so excited that you are here to cook with me today for our what's for dinner. We are doing three chicken sheet pan dinners over three nights. And we all know the benefit of the sheet pan dinner. It is super easy to clean up. It's relatively easy to put together. And while it's cooking, you have time in between to get something else done. I think I'm going to do some laundry. Woo! <laughs> but if you guys don't know me, I am Melissa. I am a wife and a mom of three, and I know how hard it is to keep an active and healthy lifestyle for both you and your family. So I provide you guys with short and effective workout videos as well as family-friendly cooking videos. If you enjoy this video, I hope that you go ahead and subscribe and join me on Friday for a workout. So tonight we are doing a Parmesan chicken with potatoes and broccoli. Guys, you can really do whatever sides you want. Today I'm going to do the potatoes and the broccoli and I'm gonna cross my fingers that it works for my family. So let's get into those ingredients so we can start cooking. guys let's make some parmesan chicken i'm gonna start by preheating my oven to 400 degrees and then i'm just going to prep my sheet pan and chop up my broccoli and my potatoes into small pieces To take my potatoes and then a third of the olive oil and a third of that spice blend that we made and just toss them in that and then I'm actually going to cook my potatoes a little bit beforehand for about eight minutes. And then while my potatoes are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and prep the broccoli and the chicken. And again, I'm gonna use a third of that olive oil and then a third of that spice blend on the broccoli. And then the same thing, I'm gonna use the rest of the olive oil and I'm gonna use the rest of the spice blend on the chicken. So just so you know, we found this a little bit spicy from the black pepper, but we like spice. In case you don't, I would just go ahead and reduce that black pepper a little bit in the spice blend. All right guys, so I am pulling the potatoes out of the oven and then I'm going to just add that broccoli and then I'm gonna add the chicken. And then from there, I'm gonna take that minced garlic and I'm gonna put it right on top of the chicken. And then following that, I am going to put that Parmesan cheese and really press it down into the chicken. As you can see, I'm pretty generous on that garlic and the Parmesan cheese, but trust me guys, it made this meal delicious. All right, here we go back into the oven and it's going in for 25 minutes. And that is it guys, how easy was that meal? Oh my God, the oven's super hot. I will make sure to link the recipes to all three of these meals below so you guys can create them as well in your kitchen. This one was definitely my favorite, but stay tuned until the end so you can see which one my family rated number one. Hey guys, we are doing meal number two of our chicken sheet pan dinners and tonight we are making a barbecue chicken. I'm going to use um, drumsticks. You can use whatever kind of chicken you would like and our sides are going to be a lemon green bean and um, um, roasted potatoes and I'm going to cross my fingers that those sides work for my family. Dun, dun, dun. I'm sure they will as long as I put ketchup 
on the plate. So if you guys are ready, let's get right into those ingredients so we can start cooking. All right guys, let's make some barbecue chicken. We are just gonna go ahead and preheat the oven to 425 degrees. So I am going to go ahead and prep my sheet pans. This recipe does call for one sheet pan, but I figured that the chicken would crisp up better if I used two. And what's the big deal to wash one extra sheet pan? I chopped up my potatoes and then I am going to take half of the olive oil and a third of the spice blend and I'm gonna to toss my potatoes in that. Do you guys see the dancing alien? I'm doing the same thing as our last recipe and starting the potatoes in the oven for eight minutes. While the potatoes are in the oven, I am gonna go ahead and prep the green beans. I love green beans, but I hate cutting them. They take forever. Let's dress these green beans. So I'm using the rest of the olive oil and then a third of that spice blend and all of the lemon zest and giving it a good toss. All right, it's chicken time. So whatever you have left of that spice blend, just go ahead and rub it right into your chicken. And then I'm leaving my potatoes in the oven and adding the chicken for 15 minutes. And then when the 15 minutes done, I'm going to pull everything out of the oven. I'm gonna add those green beans right onto the tray with the potatoes and then I am just brushing some barbecue sauce right onto our drumsticks. and then putting them back into the oven and baking them for another 15 minutes. The timer went off and that is it guys. I did add some extra barbecue sauce on the end just to give it that sticky, yummy goodness. As I'm plating here, guys, the only thing I would do different with this recipe is cook those green beans for probably 20 minutes instead of 15, but otherwise this was an awesome, easy dinner. Hey guys, we are on day three of our chicken sheet pan dinners, and tonight we are making a teriyaki pineapple chicken. So this one, I am going to make a side of rice on the stovetop because it's screaming for rice but the sheet pan is seriously so easy to make that adding the rice is like nothing. So if you guys are ready to see this one, let's get right into those ingredients. All right guys, here we go. The kitchen is about to get hot as we set our oven to 500 degrees to make our teriyaki chicken. I start by dicing that chicken up into small pieces and then prepping my sheet pan. You guys can easily just put foil on your sheet pan to make cleanup a little bit easier as well. And then I'm just making my sauce using teriyaki, sriracha, and honey and giving it a good whisk. And then you guys can see here, I am just prepping my fruits and veggies. And you can see all the real life going on in my house right now between my kids. Oh, and the dog. Then I'm taking my carrots, peppers, pineapple, and my chicken and just tossing it in the sauce. I can't explain to you how easy this recipe is, guys. It goes right on the sheet pan from here. Hey. 
And then we are putting it in the oven. Guys, this recipe called to bake it for anywhere between 14 and 16 minutes. I went on the high end. I would definitely go on the low end as our chicken was a little dry. And then like I said, guys, this recipe screams for rice. So this is me making my rice. I use olive oil instead of butter just to keep that rice nice and moist and we love it. The timer went off. I'm taking the chicken out of the oven. Woo, it's hot. As I'm plating here, like I said before, guys, the only thing I would do differently with this recipe is cook it for a little bit less. Um, as you can see here, I have green onions and sesame seeds that I topped it with as well. This was by far this, the easiest of the three sheet pan dinners and it was loaded with flavor and we really enjoyed it. And the winner is clearly the barbecue chicken. Look at my husband's plate. I hope that you guys enjoyed these chicken sheep pan dinners and I hope you got some inspiration and get into your kitchen and start cooking. And I hope that you will go ahead and subscribe and then meet me on Friday for a workout. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.